remake of video game where things are falling from the sky and you have to catch some of them, but some of them you, you don't want to catch. To start that, I'm going to go into my... Let's just make sure this is the right game. Yep, I want to take the palm game. I'm going to duplicate the whole thing. There we go. And I'm going to call this falling game. I have some images. I have a whole bunch of images in this thing called falling stuff. I'm going to drag into the folder. So holding down the option. Let's get rid of the paddles in the game. I'm just getting rid of the paddle, but I'll keep the ball for now. I'm gonna keep one of those paddles. I'll keep the right paddle. I'm gonna be moving left and right. 38 was up and 40 was down. 37 would be left and 39 would be right. I'm keeping the paddle R. I'm gonna make the VX negative one and the VX plus one. I'm gonna get rid of all this stuff. We don't need it anymore. I need to rotate that paddle. To rotate the paddle, I'm just going to go into my images. I'm going to get the paddle. Paddle right, that was the purple brick. My purple brick. I'm just going to open it up. Oh, good. I want to rotate this. Let's save it. Now I have to get rid of the, the paddle left. We don't need any more. Anything with the paddle left, we'll get rid of. Paddle left. Let's save that. See what that looks like. That seems to be almost okay. Some things not working. The paddle needs to bounce off the sides and it's doing this goofy thing where the scores are changing because it thinks it's the ball. Also, let's lower the paddle down to here. We need to switch the width and the height, comma 18. We need to put it to the bottom of the screen. We're gonna put it right in the center of the screen. Let's say 300, height minus 46. In the sprite, this is for any sprite. We're gonna have to make a slightly different sprite for the paddle because the paddle will never get to that point. It's never going off the screen that way. Let's change that back to what we used to have for the bouncing code. Let's see if that works. So that looks okay. Nope, did not bounce. Let's try that again. Nope, no bouncing. So let's go the other way. That bounced. Let's see why the first one didn't bounce. Should be minus this width. Let's try that. And that's it, that was it. Uh, so it is bouncing there. It's bouncing off the other side. Let's start with the ball. We're just gonna have the ball fall. Start the ball to get it to fall. We're gonna have to give the object some gravity. I'm just gonna duplicate this. So file, let's save this. Save as. I'm gonna call this one sprite falling. Save right up here, sprite falling. These guys are gonna start to fall. We're gonna have to make the Y velocity increase by a certain amount. I'm gonna make something called gravity. This dot G, that's gonna be my gravity. We're gonna make it 0 0.1 just to start. We're gonna make this dot VY. So the velocity in the Y direction is going to increase, is equal to itself, added to the acceleration due to gravity, this dot G. We're going to be increasing our y velocity over and over again, but by a very small amount. If it hits the bottom of the screen or the top of the screen, I don't want any of this to happen. We don't want any bouncing. And let's say it hits the bottom of the screen. Let's send it back up to the top of the screen. So we're going to make this dot vy is equal to zero. So it's going to be restarting at the top. Otherwise, it's going to keep accelerating. Then we'll give it a new y position. Let's make its Y position negative 100. Well, let's make it zero for now, just so we'll see what that looks like. Let's get rid of that. We don't need that anymore. Okay, so this is for sprite falling. The ball is gonna become a sprite falling. Ball, sprite falling. We're gonna start the ball when the ball appears or when a, a new sprite appears. In utilities, we have the, this is where the ball gets dropped. For now, we'll make the VX equal to zero. You don't want it moving left or right yet. We're gonna make the Y velocity equal to zero, and we're gonna put the ball, let's put the X at some random position. 
from zero to the width of the screen minus the width of the ball. We'll make the Y to be zero. So let's see what that looks like. We were talking about sprite falling, but we never told the HTML about it. We need to copy this line of code, put in sprite falling. Now the HTML knows about sprite falling and that should work. If we press the start, then we should see the ball, but the ball's way over here. And you see how it's getting faster and faster, just like a falling object? Okay, so that seems to be working. I just need, don't want the ball to be attached to the edge like that. Let's go back and look at our code. 